In this video, the main attention will be on this beautiful Porsche 911. I will show you how to finish it with this procedural metallic car paint material. Also, if you'll find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to help this channel grow. But for now, let's start with the tutorial. So to make realistic carpet material, you can't just change the base color and think it will look good. I think it looks very fake. So let me show you a better method. So in the shading tab, and the first thing I do is change the metallic value to 1 the specular to 0.1, roughness 0.3 and clear coat to 3. And the other thing I do is change the value of the clear coat roughness to 0.01. And as you can see, it kind of looks better already. So now next thing I will do is I will try to make the metallic flakes. So for that I will add a vernier texture, press Ctrl T with the no Wrangler add-on and change the scale of the vernier texture to, I don't know, a big number like 20,000 in this case. Now, if we wanted to connect the color to the normal, we see that this didn't go as planned. The shading looks weird and that just not it. That's because if we preview it, we can see that the vernier texture is black and white and black and white are in the colors of the normal map. I can show you a quick way to make a normal map from vulnerable texture. We need a separate RGB, we connect the color to image, then I combine RGB, red to red, green to green, and set the blue to 1. And that now, if you preview it, we can see that we have a perfectly fine normal map. Now we need to add a normal map node, and then Let's just move this ones over here, connect the image to color and normal to normal. And that should give us our flakes. Let's wait for it to load up and yeah, as you can see, we have our flakes. And they look quite good actually. We can turn down the strength a bit to make it look more realistic. Next thing we'll do is the orange peel effect. For this, we will add a noise texture connect the vector to the vector and change the value to let's say a thousand now the number can be smaller this time now if we preview it we can see that it's black and white but it's okay this time it's because we want to use a normal map now we'll use a bump node we will connect the color to the height and normal to clear coat normal now if we preview it we can see that the differences in the height are just too big and that won't look good. To fix this we just have to change the strength value of the bump node to a much smaller number. Now we can see that the effect is much more better, much more realistic because it's just barely there but it's there and that's how it's supposed to be. Now if we play around with the base color we can see that it's already a nice scar paint material. We have flakes, we have the orange peel, the car is orange now, it just looks like an orange, but we can still make it look better. To add the extra details, um, add another noise texture and then connect the vector to vector again of course, change the scale to a thousand and for this one turn up the detail to 100. Now. Let's connect it to the base color, we can preview it mm, and as we can see they are just black and white noise. We want the car paint to be green, so let's, let's look for a nice green on the color wheel and maybe this one, no, something like that. And also look for a nice green on the other end of the color ramp as well. Now remember, the closer you put the points together, the more contrast there, there is between the colors. The further away they are from each other, the less contrast. You can even add a third point and experiment with it. Now it's just really experimenting and trial and error process to find out the best color combination you can do. So this is what I've come up with, 
and now if we see all the material wait for it to load up we can see that it starts to get really really nice now to add this extra detail um, duplicate the noise and the color ramp and connect it to the vector now i like to add the point and set it like white to make this kind of white spots as you can see now combine it with the mix rgb connect the color to the color one the other color to the second color wait for blender to load up now we can see how the material looks with the two noises combined i like to set it up at point one that the white spots are just barely visible i think it looks really really good and now it's time for the fine tuning just play around with the sliders and see what looks best for you. And here is the finished node setup for the procedural metallic car paint material. And here are some renders using this material. In the next video I will show you guys some lighting tricks to change your renders from this to this. So if you liked this video and want to see more tutorials like this one, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned.